the team of the uh, music production workshop. I'm excited to be part of it. It's it's amazing and um, it's stuff like this that gets me going because... Now let's start with the basics. First of all, you have to identify, acknowledge and come to terms with the music producer in you. So all you need on top of this is training and development of that particular talent. So the music producer in you is that aspect of your being that wants to be a music producer, that can arrange music, that can create music, can analyze music, can get people together to create a body of music. Now that person has to be identified within you. And that brings us to the second thing. You need to get trained. Seek knowledge. You know, you, you, you just have to go all out and look for ways to gather the information and the tools that are necessary to develop that music producer that you have discovered in you, okay? So get online courses. We're in the 21st century. This is 2021. So there's a lot of information out there that will help you. Now, let me, let me share something with you. Talking about another aspect of music production, which is the mixing aspect, I learned all that from YouTube and resources that I got from the internet. Okay, so when, when you think about that, so 99% of everything I know as a mix engineer today came from books, lessons, online courses, videos on YouTube that I got from the internet. So there's an abundance of information out there that you need to look for and get. So you need to find the information that is relevant to what you're trying to become, yeah, apprenticeship. Um, this means that you have found someone who is already, already doing something or that particular thing that you want to do as a music producer. All you need to do is approach the person and tell the person, say these words to the person, okay? Say, hi there, good afternoon, good evening, good morning, whatever the case may be. Um, my name is Sozo Soan So, and I'd like to understudy you. I'd like to work for you for absolutely free for a period of six months. That sounds strange, right? That's crazy. You say, ah, oh, Aquarius, why? Why are you telling us to do something like that? <laughs> now, now, working for free is something many young people don't want to do these days. But I tell you the truth and I lie not. That is one of the things that got us to where we are today. Not, not that we've accomplished everything, but um, that's one of the things that opened doors for us today. Working for absolutely free. Working for the sole purpose of gaining knowledge. Because when you're working for someone who is um, seeing you as someone who is, you know, bringing some value to their establishment, they're going to open up their hearts to you, open up their minds to you and teach you things and even go beyond that. Another thing you need to do at the very beginning while starting out is determine the direction that you are going in. Now, not every music producer is going to start out the same way. You know, you could discover that you have a flair for organic music. Maybe you, you prefer to have musicians come into a room and record them. Maybe you're the kind of uh, music producer who prefers to use samples and uh, create beats or use loops and stuff like that. Maybe you're the type of uh, music producer who is, you know, going to work remotely. You prefer doing things in a very techy kind of way. So you just determine the direction that you're going to take your music career, your music production career in, okay? That will inform what you're going to need. For instance, I was a musician before I became a music producer. So that brings us to what you're actually going to need as a music producer. So being an organic musician, someone who likes organic music, I discovered that I was going to need real music instruments. I was going to need digital piano. I got that um, earlier on. Um, I need guitars. I got guitars for myself. I got um, a couple of instruments and I got an audio interface that could record more than eight channels simultaneously because I knew that I would at some point be recording a full band of real life musicians playing at the very same time. So that's the route I chose and it's informed um, you know, the decision on what I was going to need. Another important factor is networking. You need to network. Now, this is the time that you're not getting as many jobs as you know you would be getting when you're established. 
this is the time that you need to form very powerful relationships. You need to form relationships with other producers, other music producers, other industry people, artists. You need to attend events and form relationships with people that will help you along the way. Now, now you need to realize that first of all, you're in a service. This is a service. So as you're networking, you're not just thinking about how people can help you. You're first of all thinking about how you can help people. I'll give you an example. The most effective way of getting their attention and getting them to be on your side or be, you know, in your team, okay, is by offering to be of service to them. Walk up to people and introduce what you do to them. I'm a music producer or I'm trying to start out my music production journey and I think I can offer this and this and that service for you. I'll give you an example. <laughs> One of the things that music producers hate doing the most is editing audio files. It could be vocals, it could be guitars, it could be anything, horns, whatever. Or tuning vocals. Now, if you walk up to a music producer you admire and you tell that music producer, hello sir, hello ma, can you give me all your vocals, all the recordings that you've done for this month, I can edit them and tune them for free. And you know what? I studied music, so I have good ears. I can also hear the mistakes and take them away. I can tune the vocals for you to make sure that they are on key and every note is correct. Now, if you walk up to me and tell me that and you're gonna work for free, oh my goodness, you're gonna be a younger brother or younger sister to me for the rest of your life. <laughs> because you're actually doing something I don't like doing. On to the next thing. Train yourself to collaborate. Train yourself to realize that you need people. I'm not saying you can't work alone, okay? I'm not saying you're not a powerful, resourceful person. You may be a very resourceful, intelligent person who can learn things very quickly. You may have all that. But usually, life is better when different people do things, do different things. Another tip I have for you here is practice, 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 practice. Look, don't think about making all the money just yet. The money will come, don't worry, I assure you. If the money doesn't come, if you do what I say, and the money doesn't come, okay? Now, call me, a curious light to us. The money has not come. We did what he said and the money didn't come. Now, you're free to do that in a couple of months from now, but make sure you do everything I just said. All right. So don't put money first. Money will come. Build your craft, become better, improve. Every day, ask yourself, what have I done today to improve my craft? Okay, now we were all at that point where we thought we were failures, where we thought <laughs> this, this music production work was probably not for us. We made a mistake. We, we should go and try something else. We all thought that like that at some point in our careers. I did. Okay, but as time went on, as the days passed, and as I continued to acquire knowledge, information from people who were better than I was, from you know people who had those resources, I got better and better and better, and the rest is history, and I'm still growing. Never stop growing, never stop learning. The day you stop learning, that's the day you start dying.